I, I was just... wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Careful. You don't want to shoot yourself. Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. Never mind. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> the guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said. We hurt Randall for what he did. Heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If if she, they can't hurt her too. You have to stop them. Your sister will be with me. I'll make sure she's safe. Here. I I don't know if I'm ready. You know to have one. She didn't always come to this. Janie, Rich, what's all up? Prisoners aren't cooperating. What do you want to do? Yeah, we don't have time for this. Get them moving. Is that... music? I can't reach you. Can I come in? You doing okay in here? I bet that was scary before when I brought your sister in like that. But she's okay now. Nothing can hurt me in here. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. That's good. It has to. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. Getting scared is normal. Really? Happens to everyone sometimes. But my dad's not scared of them. I've 
I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Your dad's not coming. He's dead. What? He got shot outside. No! I don't believe you! What is it? It happened very fast. I promise you, he never felt a thing. Did my dad be become one of them? It it it's what happens, right? No. He was shot in the head. When someone dies, you put a bullet or something sharp right here. <laughs> and then you don't turn. Okay? It's not fair. It's gonna be okay, Alex. I promise. Your sister, James, they'll look out for you. Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. <laughs> James Fairbanks, Alex Fairbanks. I should leave him all alone. John, take care of our children and take care of yourself. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't help or explain anything, but it's true. I can't stand watching you and the kids suffer, knowing what's going to happen to me and what I'll become. Better to spare you that pain. I love you more than anything. Sophie. I remember getting my law degree. Doesn't mean much now. Hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Here. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or is she still out there digging a hole in the ground? I've never seen her like this. Sam wants to defend the house. She wants to fight. You're kidding. Norma's got more people, more guns. There's no way we win in that fight. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway. Same as you. That's one thing we got in common. But that's not why you're leaving. I mean, it's part of it. Call it self-preservation, but I've gotten pretty used to knowing when it's time to cut and run. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. You can't leave James and Alex. They've lost enough today. I know. I 
No. I'm not trying to hurt them. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but I don't know if I can do the same for them. Alex must have drawn this one. I hope he's okay. This must be how they reinforce the gate. Hope it keeps Norma out. Right behind you. Hey, Sam. Hey, something you need? Want a hand? No, thanks though. Having something to do helps me not think about everything. Paige thinks we're not safe here. Now we need to move on. But she's trying to convince you to leave too. She's wanted out of here for a while. I'm not leaving without you. I wouldn't blame you if you did. You're here to get your people back, and that's fine. None of this is your mess. It's just, so much of this place is my dad. It's all of us. He worked his way up from nothing. Took a job cleaning houses, paid his way through law school. When he bought this house, it was, it was proof that he'd made a better life for us. We grew up here, I, maybe I'm crazy, but I can't let that all be for nothing. He was so proud of what he built. This place kept us safe. We were happy here. I don't expect you to understand. You found the bag? Yeah, here. Thanks. I should get back to work. Better than I thought. Looks like they were ready for anything. Almost anything. Nearly empty. She's been all over the world. Those days are long gone now. Sam's passport. This must be her mother. Sophia Fairbanks. Almost out of space in these.
Normalcy right through this. Jesus. You know, my hands hurt a little bit. You got any ointment lying around? <laughs> Yeah, well, when Norma gets here, she'll bust down that little gate of yours and tune you up good. Just march on in. Majestic as fuck. Lay waste to this garbage house. That's what's gonna happen. You watch. Don't be a stranger. Here, Pete. Thanks. This is a mess. Can't believe how fucking stupid I was. I get so focused on finding people. I wasn't putting the crew first. I didn't insist on looking. If I didn't turn us around and lead us here, none of this would have happened. You'd think after all this time, after everything we've had to do to survive, people would want to help each other. But no, they're just guarding what's theirs and taking out whoever gets in their way. I don't know why I even bother trying to help anymore. Does it? doesn't seem worth it. Maybe I was just fooling myself. This isn't you, Pete. You help people. You helped me. Don't give up. I won't. We just... We have to get my crew back. Hopefully my boat is still in one piece. Shit. What the hell are we gonna do? If Norma's coming for a fight, are we really prepared for that? Norma's not gonna stop. She may say she wants to make a deal, but I don't believe that for a second. We're gonna have to fight. I trust you. For Alex? Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. Even if I couldn't bury him. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. Alex asked about his father. So... I told him what happened. Oh, shit. I, I, I should check on him then. You'll find him in his fortress. I just... I wish he didn't have to see him like this.
Sam? You okay? Greg and Dad? I just... I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. Maybe you don't need to say anything. It's okay to just be here together. I'll give you a moment. Hey, you okay? Michonne. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. Fair enough. You know I envy them a little. They've managed to hold on to something we all lost a long time ago. Something like normal. I don't know how to describe it. Whatever normal is, it doesn't exist anymore. No matter how much you want it to. Hey, I decided to stay. For the kids. Don't get cocky. It had nothing to do with what you said. Uh-huh. She's here! Huh. I thought we had more time. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. <sighs> What's gonna happen? He gonna hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Right? Just get upstairs. Go, James! Please! Everything will be fine. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. I hope it doesn't come to that. This is worst case scenario, right? Are you sure? Not really. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. 